Today I'm going to show you how you can make money online by using Mid Journey V4 and Adobe stock photos. So a couple of days ago, Adobe opened up for contributors to submit their AI generated images to their portfolio. So let's go through this step by step and hopefully you can start making an income online. Let's get started. Okay, so first let's have a quick look at the blog Adobe put out here. So we can see amplifying human creativity. Adobe stock defines new guidelines for content made with generative AI. So let's have a quick look at the quotes here. So it says there is a way to integrate generative AI in the right way with the scale that Adobe has. I believe they can do it right. I think it comes down to whoever does it first and how companies engage in their communities with these tools responsibly. And there was another quote here. So I'm a believer in AI and I'm here uh, for how AI will impact the future of art. Some apps have become way better since I first looked at them. And I look forward to see how companies like Adobe integrate generative AI into Adobe's creative tools. So I think this is very positive, like for this space. Uh, Adobe is a big player, so they also put out these uh, guidelines on how you can submit generative AI to their platform. OK, so let's have a look at the guideline Adobe has put up for generative AI content. Uh, yeah, let's just go over what I think is most important here. So ensure you have the rights, appropriate rights to submit, uh, read the terms and conditions for the generative AI tool you use. So in my case, I'm using Midjourney and I'm pretty sure when I have the membership, I have the license to submit images to Adobe Stock. Also here, don't use uh, tools that have serious flaws in the design and outputs. So you get the identifiable, uh, identifiable people and properties. And the same goes with like uh, famous characters, celebrities, logos. So don't submit that. That's not going to work. Uh, here we got something important, label, title and tag content. So all images uh, should be tagged as illustrations. We're going to go over this and include the main subject and tag and title your content with generative AI as well as generative and AI to help with uh, moderation and specify that these are fixtures and generated. And of course, prioritize creativity and maintain high quality. So don't take every single image you make in mid-journey, let's say, and put them up. Just take the best images. I would advise that. So I think that was pretty much what I wanted to take away from this. So now let's try to submit some images. Okay, so I went to mid-journey, created uh, some images of robotic animals. So we got an elephant, a turtle, tiger a dog and a cat so let's try to submit uh, some of these images to adobe stock okay so when we're gonna submit our images we have to upscale them so we can get some good quality just go to bigjpg.com and just click on select images and just hit start and in the free version here now i hope you can see this you can uh, select just upscale four times i usually go non-reduction and this is free and you get a very good upscale i think you get like so let's see uh, how this is when it's done okay so that's our image uh, upscale so now you just click download and that should be about it uh, the only thing we have to do now is turn it in from a png file to a jpeg so here is our upscale image. I use this program called Fast Image Viewer. So what I do now is just click edit and uh, save as. And then I just pick JPEG here. Uh, just call it, let's say AI. Yeah. And that should be it for me. Remember the images can't be larger than four megabytes. So to submit images on Adobe Stock, you have to have this contributors account. Uh, you have to head over to this URL. I'm going to leave it in the description uh, and just click join now and create your account. Uh, and then you could start to upload images to Adobe Stock. OK, so now I have headed over to my Adobe Stock account. So uh, I'm sorry, this is in Norwegian, but you just click this upload sign here and just uh, find your image, drag it down here. That should be it. And now remember, we got to do this labeling, correct? I'm going to try to zoom in so hopefully you can see this now. So all uh, AI generated images has to be an illustration. Choose a category. I'm just going to choose technology. I don't know. Is this an animal or is it? I don't care. Uh, can the person or property be recognized? Uh, no. And let's now we're going to do the title. So cat on white background, but I'm going to do like, let's say 
cyborg cat on white background. And then I'll do generated by generative AI. That's the title. Then we head down to keywords. So I just start with generative uh, AI, generative and AI. So do generative AI, generative and AI in different keywords. Then I just go cat, cyborg, robot, animal. You get some suggestions here if you want some other things. So yeah, I don't see any good. So let's zoom out a bit. And that should be it actually. Uh, now we just click send in one file and send in. And that should be it. Now you just gotta wait. I think it takes a day or two. And then you can check if your file is approved. The final thing I wanted to have a look at is how much money can you actually earn with Adobe Stock? How much does Adobe Stock pay? Adobe Stock pays 33% commission for images. That means from $0.3 to $26.4 per image downloaded. And you get, uh, let's say here, you also earn 33% commission per image download, meaning you get between $0.3 and $3 for subscription downloads and between 21 and 26 dollars per extended license download so i guess that is something you ballpark what you can expect if you sell some good images so basically you're not gonna be rich i think by this but it could make like a a good passive income stream if you get some images that gain popularity Okay, so I hope this gave you some inspiration of how you can maybe start to turn your AI art into some money. Uh, anyway, check out some of my other videos here. There should be something good about generative AI here. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.